Good news, I've finally wrapped my head around how the hell this works. Right, let me turn the camera around. When you read the manual properly, it actually makes a lot of sense. So if you look there, that is the, the push rod, that's the lock nut. Actually here, you look at it closely, it's basically a rod and that's actually sort of like a, um, a floating ball joint almost. Where essentially you've got a cup and then the rod sitting it and then it's basically locating in that cup. And that cup there is actually what you use to adjust where that rod sits in there. That's why it didn't make any sense to me because I can see something in there and there's no way how you can get a spanner on it. So then when you look and think, oh that's how you turn it, it makes perfect booming sense. So that right there is the bit we actually want to turn. Can I make it work? There we go. Is it going to pay for me? No, of course it's not. That'll be useful. There you are. Ah, there. So that bit there is the nut, and that there is a rod. So, yeah. That's your rod, and that's your nut, and that adjusts the length of the stud that goes through the lever on. Which makes sense because I was looking thinking, well, that rod is definitely very much part of that lead, uh, clutch fork. So yeah, that's that's how it works. Makes perfect sense when you look a bit closer. So now to work out, do we need to extend that rod in terms of how far through the um, linkage arm it is, or reduce the length of it? I think I know the answer to this already. I think we need to um, pull it that way so which means tightening it up against the fork I think so we'll try that and go from there